everybody wants a somebody. I okay, and I do, and I believe that, and I also believe I don't know. I don't really when women say they don't want to get married. I never believe it. I don't know. It's something about it. Like I'm not saying as a woman you have to want to get married. I just think if you have to articulate it, then maybe you might want it. I don't see myself walking around and saying, "Oh, I don't want coke." <laughs> you feel me? I don't, I don't. I don't do coke. I don't like coke. I don't desire coke. So I'm not gonna like make it a part of. You feel me? Like if I, and I, I get that, that, it's just like projection and all this shit every now. Mm-hmm. But I feel like if it's if it comes up a conversation or if you just know like. I've had a conversation with her before, and she's mentioned that that's not something that you want to do. And it does not co- become her personality, like, oh, that's the girl who don't want to get married. Like, that's not your, your no, face like, card. No, like, if you say it in a casual manner, like, you said, like, oh, like, oh, yeah, like, I already know your standpoint on that. You you don't really like Yeah, like, you like, are, like, you like mm-hmm, but casual. like I said, that's not, it don't become your identity. Then, like, everybody yeah. just know, like, you just, but oh, that's the one who don't really. But if you're also that one who be like, I don't believe in marriage because it's a government institution. Yeah, that's and a it, lot. Like, like those type of women you who want say somebody. they don't want to get married. You want yeah. somebody bad, as a matter of fact. You wanted somebody yesterday, last they week. They be saying they have a man. And yet we... Where are you? Where have you seen you? us? Tomorrow. I'm like, <laughs> gone. So, I guess. But... If you ever noticed this episode, it's definitely about marriage. We've had a marriage episode before, but this one I feel like it's getting into the real grown and sexy of what marriage is and what it's about and things you would consider. And yeah, so we finna get into it. If the father is not paying for the wedding, should the man still have to ask for the daughter's hand in marriage? And why my daddy not paying for the wedding? My daddy got it. I mean, but some daddies, some daddies don't got it. And should the man be penalized because he can't? But ain't it the ain't it the daughter's father who post pay for the wedding yeah. anyway? So that's what I'm saying. So it's like I don't know. Like okay, so first and foremost, yes, nigga, you still gotta ask my fucking daddy. Period. That's my it's daddy. not about money. That's a respect. <laughs> it, it's thing. a respect factor. That's my fucking daddy. You feel me? Like you are <clears throat> taking me from his family name and his legacy to build a legacy and build your own family. So you need to ask the man who you are like, I, it's not property, but that's like, that's what it's respect. That's what it is. That's what family is. You feel me? I understand, especially cause I love my daddy. So like, why wouldn't you ask my dad if it's okay to marry me? You feel me? Like, I feel like, I feel like you're starting your marriage or intended marriage off on rocky um, waters when you don't have the approval of your family. And I'm not saying, like, you have to, like, oh, well, my family don't like him, but we still going to get married. Because it's not really fuck them folks. Yeah, you feel, I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying in the sense of when you're being outwardly disrespectful to a family that's never been disrespectful. You feel me? Like, if we've right. been copacetic as as the as the girlfriend's family, you, mm-hmm. we done did holidays, we got some pictures together in pajamas and shit, why wouldn't you ask me? Why right. would you, like, not find that disrespectful or why would you make that role rocky to start your union off of like that? But, like, just to I get I'm saying, the, the reason why I say for the folks is if, if, they really don't have a reason to not care for the union. If they just simply don't like you because they really care for the last nigga she was with better or this and third, like that's when it's, I mean, whatever. But you should always, I feel, offer the respect of asking for the daughter's hand in marriage. Mm-hmm. Because again, it's not about money at that point. It's about a respect thing because. The only time you shouldn't ask the daddy Jesus. is if the daddy did. <clears throat> It's the only time. Oh. And, you better, and you better find an uncle or a brother or something. I was going to say, somebody who you can, you know, have that conversation with who you feel, you know, you respect enough, who respect you enough for you to even have that conversation. But people are very wrapped in the wrong shit when it comes to marriage anyway, which is why I feel like a lot of times, like you said, it starts off on some really weird shit. And then they just hope that it gets better down the line. It's like, no, when you start mm-hmm. off crooked, you don't just automatically, like, it take. It be certain omens that people, like, yeah. ignore. Like, I'm not saying every, 
No, everything does happen for a reason. Let me it just does. Stop not say, but I'm not saying everything is a sign of not to do it because a lot of great blessings come from bad conditions. You feel me? That's why, I like, um, if it rains on the day of someone's funeral, at least you know they had an easy passage. You feel me? Like, it's certain things like because yeah, the ground wet and the dirt. Talking about spiritually. Oh. <laughs> But, like, things that we could find uncomfortable <laughs> or um, of Woo! that sort, fool. Uh, <laughs> but it doesn't but make sense, like, though? It's Can't like, you dig better when the ground wet? No, actually, you make it harder. It's not no, as precise. No, don't. You can move shit out And then on top of that, the, the That's ground, right. the day of the funeral, the ground already dug out. They already dug the, the hole. Oh, I'm thinking of some murder type shit where you got to dig the hole quick. Don't worry about it. That's all. I, that's all. I, I don't know. Okay, so murder is always best on a rainy day. Evidence. Okay, see, we always <laughs> you always get on the cliff, and I be right Evidence there, and then you say, "Hi, you just jump over." <laughs> wash away. Okay? I mean, it does, but um, we are not telling you, gotta you. Be smart about <clears throat> certain things. I'm not going to tell y'all how to get away with murder. No, we're not. But so, we, how do you we, feel about people requesting no children or a plus one at the wedding? I agree with the no children. You want to know why? Because it's be a lot of running around at the wrong fucking time. It be a lot of tan of the shit up when it shouldn't be towed up. It be a lot of, ah, I don't want to do that. When it should be like that. <laughs> so if people don't want those things that they wedding, they want their wedding to be a beautiful time to remember not to say kids aren't beautiful because sometimes saying they be rain bears. Sometimes saying they be flower girls. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they just be, you know, guests at the, at the establishment, like the little baby who saw future and was like, yeah. that shit was like, it was cute. But if somebody said they don't want kids, they went then I'm, I am a firm believer in do what the party people ask you to do. I'm telling Unless you. it's some wild shit where they be like, Hey, show it with your ass out. Then, you know, you have a choice of going to that function altogether in the first place. But if the people are saying they don't want kids to win, I mean, you got to respect that. They, I'm sure, I'm sure they reached out to you in enough time to, I feel like for you to you find the silver. You got that damn invitation a good 90 days Come before like, the wedding. You ain't so just, they ain't talking about tomorrow. You got time. If it was like a last minute emergency, I just, I don't be saying y'all bad parents. Oh, but shit. But. Y'all don't believe in plan oh, B or fuck. C's for real though. Like that oh listen, if I ask somebody to look at the scholar like while I go somewhere, mm -hmm. I've learned over time to have one on go and at least one or two in the chamber. That way Literally. if this one can't hey, remember I asked you, okay, well just in case. Like I I uh -uh. Because kids are the most unpredictable. If you don't have a backup plan, I promise you you won't get to do half the shit you want to do. Baby, listen. I mean, and they still they don't I literally have made it a choice to not let them restrict nothing. I got the fuck going on. <laughs> okay. Cause I do enough for them. So mm -hmm. when I want to do something for myself, when I say I should be able to do that. I should be able to do that. So I'm not saying y'all are bad parents. I'm saying y'all poorly prepared parents. Just like I will get to have some time to myself this weekend because my baby daddy is amazing. See? Stuff like that. You and he still like, and he's had stuff to do, but he was like, no, nah, I'm gonna take She's gonna come with me. What do you mean? It, see, so it, period. Because, like, I'm going, I'm to, going, to, I'm going to Vegas. I'm gonna suck the skin off of it tonight. I'm going to eradicate you in ways that will make a nun curse. It is time. I will scroll across your face like a snail. I'm gonna. I'm gonna scoop it. Scoop it. I'm giving it to you in a thousand ways. I'm going to smother you with my ass. Much appreciated. Yes, I, I'm glad. <laughs> What's next on the dock? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to smother you and they're going to play Dumb Ways to Die. <laughs> Um, so how do you feel about people not really, <laughs> how 
how do you feel about people? Uh, I'm, I'm back part of the conversation. How do you again. feel about people requesting no children or plus one at the wedding? Snaps to whatever she was going to plan to do to her man. And because I, you, let me tell you something. Never stop doing the shit you did in the beginning to get your man. You got to keep and maintain yeah, that man. Me. You feel me? And so you got to maintain that freakiness. However, I am a child of the Lord. And I don't need to be privy to them type of conversations. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I do not need to be privy to this conversation. It's like, <clears throat> woo. Anyways, but Refer- that, that goes. Let's go back to that real quick. That's why kids can't be at the wedding for real. They can be at the wedding, but not the reception. Because when back that ass up, I hate when people say that. Because you know, let me say y'all something. I hate that song. I like the song, but that's not my. Song. I do not get up and dance when that song come on. I actually am fully annoyed because that song does not make me get up and dance. But you know what song makes me get up and dance? Chopper style. When Period. that motherfucking song drop, uh, uh, that's it. Let me tell you something. That 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 leg, that head be dipping. My kids don't need to see that. And that's why <laughs> kids don't need to be there because when I say I'm gonna start popping that bitch in the split. When I say I might do a handstand and show y'all how that bitch clap, but that, but that, but you're at your wedding, so that goes into the next thing. Mm-hmm. Should you have to consider appropriateness in consideration of your parents and grandparents during the reception? And I said, I saw a post on TikTok a long time ago. She turned her thing over. She was like, "Listen, let me show you something. It says right here from twelve to one. We're gonna keep it nice and and sweet and easy, and it's gonna be very flowy, family fun. This and the third." But from two until, it is going to be very ratchet. Yes, I'm very much having a schedule. I mean, it just it just makes so sense. you choose where you fall mm-hmm. and you see what time you need to be. Everybody needs to be there from the fucking beginning. Let's start. No, that's like for real. You need to see me walk in. And Absolutely, and but know when it's to, your turn to cut. When is your time to fucking leave? Right. Okay. But see, because it's my wedding day, I'm supposed I'm supposed to be doing. The most with my man. We done been through some. Look, let me tell you something. Half of the time you get married, y'all probably argue that fucking day. Okay? So we done went through some shit, done fought, done loved, done worked, done did in order to even get here. So no. I didn't get a wedding my first time. He tricked me. He said it's uh we focus more on the marriage and not so much about the wedding. And I feel and that's okay too. It was, you know what? And I actually You seem fully- fresher, bitch. I'm not a city hall type of bitch. <laughs> I'm about to say, you know what? And I actually fully am okay with that. Like, cause even in my next marriage, I would, if I would low, I would be like, okay, we can get married first. Like, and we can have a weddings are wedding. for other people. I'm a firm believer in that whole, all that shit, the cake and the cutting and the, all that is for other people. That's why I know my, I, I, that's why I know I have to marry a person who's never been married because I don't want, I'm not saying I'm taking that away from you. Like, okay, but this wedding is for fucking me. Like, my my wedding, that and that's another reason why he tricked me because he knew I was going to go the fuck in on the Nigerian wedding and my regular wedding. Oh, I was about to go the fuck in, but it's okay. Because I had four christenings. And if you know how them Nigerians get down, them christenings was about as big as a fucking wedding. Okay? Yeah, so. lit. <laughs> oh, the amount of cholo. Let me tell you something. The money showers. I know. That's why when, I think it was Wale who had one for his daughter, they was like, oh, she tre- he's treating her like a stripper out there. He, no, and I was like, you cultural. motherfuckers are, like, are really that, lost. That show, that I, I promise that's you. That's so ignorant. People like you, are very like, limited and what? ignorant in their mindset. And they, Dumb. Feel, and they restrict it to, they restrict other people to what they know. And, and that's upsetting because, baby, I know way more than what your little mind can, is capable of understanding. Yeah. It's I like it's literally a a, it's a cultural thing. And you look down on that floor and you couldn't see floor. It was nothing but money. Money sweeping. Four of them. Ooh. But let me say something. That's why people say I don't date American men. And that's right. My, my man now, he is not American. <laughs> and I can't wait. If I get me a good wedding... Boy, Kimbe is reptilian. So, um, <laughs> you're annoying as he fuck. is. <laughs> Ain't it, babe? Um, I plus, one is at the wedding. Ooh, 
This question came up because my homegirl. Yeah, that was wild. She was invited to a wedding. But I would like to know your perspective on this as well. So my friend was invited to a wedding that is her friend clearly lives in a different state, so she will have to travel to a different state to her friend's wedding. Mm-hmm. Her um, So that's already an expense that she would be incurring, hotel, travel, whatever. But it's for her friend. She doesn't mind, right? Of course, if I'm going to a state, out of state or whatever, I would want to go with somebody. My man. My man. However, the invitation said, unless you are married, there are no plus ones allowed. How do you feel about that? I, me personally here, right here, uh-huh. I don't agree with that. I don't see why you get to tell me how long I've been with somebody in order for them to escort me to a wedding. It ain't like we got to stand up and give our testament to marriage. <laughs> It ain't like if the the more married people show up to the wedding, you, the more money you make, or the you get a. I don't I don't understand. I don't feel like that is. I don't feel like that's appropriate. Children, yeah, because I mean, at the end of the day, you may want certain things done that mm-hmm. you don't want children to see or be a part of. But you getting to choose who come with me to this motherfucking wedding. It, it, that's why I said the wedding is for people. Like, why did that fucking matter? Who I'm bringing on? Is that stopping you from getting married ever? No. I do think it's a little wild. You think we're going to argue? on the, What you think we're going to be fussing? I think it's wild to tell me I have to be married to my partner. Because, like I said earlier, like, okay, what if... That's not my thing. What if I don't believe in marriage? Like, I... I clearly do. But I'm just saying, like, but what if I was a woman who did not believe in marriage? What if I just went through some shit and I don't, and I don't want to be like, no, nah, I don't, that's not what we on. What if we want to be mm. dating for 15 years and not married? Like, what if and that's what you're supposed If that's what okay we, with me and yeah, my man, like, like. If we have established that our whole family is fine with that, we built, built our own family. Again. Our relationship probably more successful than your relationship. Ex- again, people but, and trying to implement their views and mm-hmm. values mm-hmm. on other people and it don't work like that. Mm-hmm. God damn it. You can't do that. I do think that's really wild to say because it's like, oh, okay, yes, I enjoy a good solo trip, but I like to do solo trip with my own itinerary, what I want to do. So if I'm coming strictly for your wedding, then I should be able to bring my comfort. You feel me? I should be able to bring my man. It's not, You know, like... I'm not, I, it's not like I'm sitting there saying, I want to bring my homegirl to your wedding. Like, I'm not doing that. You feel me? Right. I think it's weird. And what if I was gay? So you telling me I have to be gay and married? Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's all. I'm not saying that like it's bad. I'm just saying like, <laughs> I'm not saying they're less likely to be married. But I'm just <laughs> I mean it worse. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying though, like, they be having partners for a long time without being married. Or in certain states, they still they don't. I, don't, I think in they certain states that it. yeah. So so you're but you're but that's your requirement. Your and requirement. Weird. And so now your friend can't come. Yeah, and I feel like I I'm not less about gifts. To Are you being for, for permission? Real? I'm not about to say, hey, I saw your invitation and it said we have to be married, but you know we don't we not we don't do that. Like so, can I still bring you? Because, bitch, if you tell me no, I'm going to say, bitch, I ain't coming in. As my as my up. friend, you should already know what I am what I got going on over here, what I'm doing. So, be a bitch if you want to. You had nine people at your wedding, and three of them going to be your grandmama now. I will say the only time I think it would be okay is if you know you're going to have a lot of rich niggas at your wedding. What's one wedding tradition that we need to bring back or happy to get rid of? I don't see many people jumping the broom no more. I was about to say the same thing. I don't see many people jumping the broom. I don't see. I don't even be seeing them Jewish people step on the pillows. Oh, you talking about with the with the? <laughs> yeah, with the I don't be seeing them do that. You remember when they used to do? Candy? That's who be having the the motherfucking get down. Let me tell you, something. they be getting lit. Jews. Them, them bot mitzvahs and they shit. High key alcoholics, but oh, I'm not trying to get on this bitch. Okay? And that's it. <laughs> that's but, it. We are done. Um, Pack it up. I heard they be having a good snow. No, they. D- oh. <laughs> you thought I said something else. Well, I look at y'all about like joining. But um, no, remember when I used to do that candle shit at weddings? 
My mama did it at her first wedding. I hate it. That candle shit. I hate the candle shit. I hate the sand. I hate the candle. I hate the water pour. Say I do so we can go and dance That's and why get drunk don't do the and dance eat. Traditions no more because y'all some fucking haters. No, that shit take forever. My flame and your flame will burn together it's forever. A no, no, it's a no. So you will happen to get rid of Because first shit. of all, I'm going to be high and he going to be high. And we're going to fuck around and light that man on fire up there trying to marry us. And then the reception's going to be ruined because the preacher's dead. You going to be high? What? That we're going to have a 420 wedding. What do you mean? If we get married, yes, everybody, you're going to be gone, whether you drink the lemonade or eat the cake. Zooties. Puffin' on Zooties. They're going to call it the Zooties wedding. We went to the Davidson's wedding. What you do? Get high. All right, no, I'm going to be high as so well. I'm just saying. Hi, hi, <laughs> hi. Yes, we're going to be gone. The When you on your way out the door, uh, who was that Draymond Green? When well, you seen Draymond Green win with all them fat ass? Yes, yes. I that's was just the, telling somebody what? like I was like because that's what I'm saying. That's why that's why I wouldn't say no kids or this then the third because people this is they day to celebrate like How listen they want to celebrate love exactly. is tough love is not always easy Ooh, love like is conversation that. what you mean I don't like when people say that it is mm-hmm. love is not always the easiest thing it's just not always this that and the third like it's going to be sometimes where y'all don't necessarily see eye to eye on stuff that's y'all are love. going to disagree that's, just a conflict. that's why I be saying like that's why people need to that's like, a part of you, love you gotta say that out of perspective though when you say love is not hard there's just hard situations in that but that's a part of being uh, in love okay we can agree to disagree it is. You always do. It's okay. Be, that's a part of being in love and, and being in a relationship. Yes. I'm about to say, yes. Try love it, Love itself is love. I get what you're saying. Love yeah. itself is love. But in the midst of being in love and loving in a relationship, it's not always going to be y'all high-fiving each other. It's going to be mm. difficult sometimes. Mm. It's going to be sometimes where you have to have difficult conversations. Sometimes you're going to do stuff that I don't like that you may not know that you're doing that I don't like. Mm. So it's going to be an uncomfortable situation where I have to tell you that shit. And I may not want to be, I may not want to talk to you about that. I may not be a confrontational person, but I don't like the way this is making me feel. So we need to have this conversation. Like how we were talking earlier and we like, damn, it's been some times where I found out that I'm fucked up. I'm the problem. Mm -hmm. That's what, that's what I mean by it's not always going to be that. But I understand what you're saying. Love itself, the definition of love is not supposed to be hard. It's not supposed to be that love is simply love. Yeah, I don't like, I'm about to say, just putting out that, like, the just the sentiment saying love is hard. Like, no, I'm about to say, love is one of, like, l- love should is, it's an easy emotion. I'm not saying it's easy to fall into. I'm not saying it's easy to maintain, and I'm not saying it's easy to behold. But love is an easy feeling emotion. Love is what's right. supposed to, like, make you feel you feel me? Like, it's supposed to add to your your tingly sensations. I don't believe in, like, the whole butterfly type shit, love, because I feel like that's a sign of anxiety more than a sign of peace. But I get why people, um, you know, voice it in certain ways. Um, one of the marriage traditions I like to go with that I don't like um is those regular old traditional vows. I'm so happy we started getting rid of those because the way they were worded was so subservient sounding. Yeah, honor, obey. It is yeah, it's just like... like, like uh, it sounded... Because it, everybody, you know, people already say marriage is a contract. Marriage is a, a business. But yes, you, it, it was looked at... A, it, the way that marriage is looked at then and the way that marriage is looked at now is two totally different views. Because I, I really want y'all niggas to know y'all not giving nobody 40 acres and a mule in this bitch. And then y'all niggas got dowry money. Okay, so for y'all to be sitting here acting like it's such a fucking contract, if you went back to what it used to fucking be, the blending of families to keep certain power, that's why niggas was marrying their fifth cousins, to keep the money and the power inside the fucking family. You yes. feel me? So it was like marriage... That's where the term blue blood came from because they would literally be they were the recycling cube. each other yeah they would t- literally be turning blue from the amount of incest that took place jutting jaw slob and all types of shit like, it was disgusting literally like that's disgusting. why they had children hidden in, in the in the fucking third floor rooms yeah. okay they had big ass houses to hide the retarded kids 
<sighs> not the rich, not the the special needs. I'm not supposed to say that. My bad. I'm I'm a little old school and some shit. My bad. I know that was wrong. So we're gonna mark it, and they're not even gonna know what we said because <laughs> <laughs> again. We don't want to be. <laughs> anyway, but no, they had, but they did have rooms in order to keep the children who were not as yeah aesthetically pleasing mm-hmm. as the because they were fucking their cousins. So matter of fact, in in, in all honesty, <laughs> and what I'm saying, every time I try to think. <laughs> we can keep the word there because I'm not talking no! about actual special need children. I'm listen, about listen, the listen, listen, of listen, listen. I swear to God. <laughs> should you have... Should but Mac, no, I, but, but getting rid of the old vows and shit, like, back then, what marriage was, yes, it was a contract. Yeah, now, it it's was not a setup. the same shit. Bitches is really loving y'all niggas, unfortunately. Yeah. Y'all niggas don't deserve it. Because marriage is was literally they a... deserve less. Oh, God. <laughs> should marriage be considered the end goal in a relationship? In regards to long term relationships, not not necessarily like we just said. If you and this person have decided that y'all really just fucking with each other and y'all cool with this and y'all really want to make it nothing extra, that's why I'm saying people, you do what you want to do. Don't be listening to what a motherfucker is telling you because half the time they ass is not happy and they just want to see somebody win. Yep. So do whatever you and your person are comfortable with. That's all that, yeah, all the, the 50-50 conversation, conversation and this, that, and third. Like, whatever you and your mate are okay doing, whether it be unorthodox or the, the way that the world sees of you or feel like it should be, whatever makes you and your household absolutely happy, not content, but happy, do that motherfucking shit. Simple as that. Period. If it's not about marriage, then hey, y'all ain't get married. But if you want to get married, get with somebody. Different folks for a, for reason. a reason. Because but don't I try to different doing... stroke a different the person that don't want to do that shit. If you don't get with somebody who don't want to get married, and then try to get them to get married because yeah, you're gonna that baby gonna the gray hairs yet. that will grow out of your ass trying to do that. Get with somebody who wants to be married, and you can tell when a nigga want to get or, married. Or I will say this: get with some if you don't want to be married, and you know that. I will say vocalize that and say that to make right. sure that the person knows that you that's are not... with can accept the fact right. that because some people re- I am me myself and I I'm speaking for me marriage is my end goal for I don't mind being with a nigga for 15 years that's not the problem I don't care if we get married with just the three of us at the fucking me him and the preacher on the beach period but a married yes marriage is my end goal but. My ex husband, he be lying to me sometimes because oh, I'm delusional. But God. he told me that he don't want to get married again because he already had like a really good wife and he just don't feel like he'll be that lucky. And I was like, you know, you can't be thinking like that. So I be feeling like he be lying because he he be lying. But oh, I feel like he should tell bitches that though. Oh, I feel like Lord. if he don't, if he goes into a relationship and like. And they be like, oh, yeah, because I know he believes in marriage. He knows how to be a husband. She don't treat him badly. She not an act. Like, she would want to get married. He be like, oh, my bad, girl. I don't even I don't even want to do that no more. I feel like that's something that should be talked about in the beginning. And I feel like that goes perfect with the last thing, which is why are women being pushed to marry while men are not being pushed to propose. Mm. And I feel like that's like, I feel like with E, he, he like you Sorry, we could, we'll remove it. <laughs> I feel like with that, I feel like, like you said, like you went through some shit, you felt what that felt like, and y'all were young. Mm-hmm. So now, like you said, like y'all got older, y'all doing your own thing. Like it's more so like, you done, I mean, you kind of had a taste of that. Now, I feel like if the right woman comes along, then maybe that may change his mind. Mm-hmm. I hope so. I need him to get married. Why? I don't know. I just... I don't like him being single because I took care of him for so long. So sometimes I just don't like the fact that he like, this man don't be eating. He done lost weight. I just feel like he is underfed, but that is not my business. <laughs> it is your business if you're noticing it. <laughs> I was, oh, child, I guess that's what he want to look like. I don't know. Cause I was, <laughs> Turn them off. Because <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, he look hungry. He a starving father. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, my bad. I mean, I mean, joke the fuck out. My bad. I'm sleepy, y'all. <laughs> Oh man, I'm done. I'm good. If y'all ain't catch that joke, it's it's okay. Go watch the last. <laughs> cause this no, cause this bitch definitely bought the weed instead. You know she did. I'm I'm dead. No one was it's not my problem. You definitely bought the weed instead. You definitely ah. Now ah. look, as long as there's no plasma involved, listen, my man's still good. <laughs> he good. He good. He good. He ain't doing that. He ain't, he ain't doing that. He ain't done bad. <laughs> he just can't cook. And that's that's really what bothers me. Like, I don't know. I feel like some men should So know when how you to make them out. motherfucking tacos, you need to get him some. Oh yeah, he do, because he pay. The fuck? I don't feel nigga. I don't cook for niggas. Stop saying that on camera. I'm gonna say it until I fucking Die. Honestly, I don't cook for niggas. I'm not married to. If why? You're, unless you're paying me. If you do the booty with them, why you can't cook for them? Because that's just like, why am I giving him the milk for free? You giving him the milk with the pussy? Uh, if I give you pussy once every six months, am I giving you that much pussy? This bra is trying to kill me for <laughs> real. I'm only having this on because of my lawn. Otherwise, these motherfuckers be right here. Because I don't believe in them. Boop. Be free. This motherfucker had the nerve to say my titties is bigger than her titties. She is she high for real though. I don't think she be looking for real, but who? It's okay. Leave who? it in the comments. Leave it in the comments. Are you serious? But I do. I understand you saying though because like even if you think about from a young age, girls have princess books to look titty into, ass. and they be pushing them. Right, and then you got, and then the princess go through hell to get to that prince, honey. But the end goal is that, like, the, oh my gosh, the happy ending is like happily they get ever married. After. It's happily ever after as soon as they get married. But they not don't tell that she you she got her life saved. They don't tell you that the prince really be getting drunk and taking her car. <laughs> I, this is not baby boy, and no. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, it's crazy to me that if you look at boy books. They don't. They fairy tales don't be like that. They be happy they alive. Like you feel what I'm saying. Like the bitches be going through shit in the fairy tales, and they got to get rescued. Niggas was out yeah. here saving the world, fighting bad guys and shit. And what was we doing in the forest? Waiting for a nigga to save us, to animals, so we can get married and have a happily ever after. Apparently, we were miserable before this man came and saved us out of whatever. Like think about it, Pocahontas, Snow White, Beauty and the Beast, like. Cinderella, every fucking... They made Pocahontas real. I feel really upset about that story. Now, when you get older and you realize what they did with that, like, that's sick. When you, but Disney, when you Disney is sick. you realize how Disney inherently sick. racist Disney was. Boy, what? Beauty and the Beast was a song of the South. as well. Song of the South itself, bro. Dumbo. Like, and now they try to put these, like, little disclaimers for the video. Like, hey, we know this is racist. We've, you know... We know. Well, Beauty and the Beast was meant to be an interracial relationship trying to dictate about her being with a black man. Uh-uh. Girl, yes. At least she was reading. You know they didn't want oh, to Oh, damn. Read the Beast day. couldn't read. Well, could he read? No, he couldn't read. Bill had to teach how to read. You <laughs> <laughs> say that shit during Black History Month, huh? Hopefully this you is the one. You I was just thinking, <laughs> but you know what's crazy now? That no, we, because no, no, I no, thought no, we. No, 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 no. So I was at the bookstore, right? And I was looking at these books, and it was like a Black History table. And you know how, like, you be trying to get a vibe of like if you really like the book. So you look at the the covers and shit. And I was like, wow, I really like this cover. So I grabbed the book. I read the back of that bitch. I did not want to read the story, but let me tell y'all the synopsis real quick. I don't remember the name of it, so it's not an endorsement. This motherfucker book signed by a bitch in the forties, mm. um, a black bitch who own like a black me, bitch, <laughs> let me not be disrespectful, a black woman who own like a coffee shop or whatever in in like D.C. area in the forties, right? Mm -hmm. Which is a big thing because you know black yes. women, and it was like okay, but she for one fell in love with a other, mm -hmm. and then with a hand. Other gay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Did, don't didn't this mean gay in high school? 
bay. <laughs> then they mean gas. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all so fucking childish. I did not remember that in high school. No, uh, you, like, you see somebody walk down the hallway and be I like, said this, and you was like, <laughs> you said gas. <laughs> you really like, okay, you took it back with that one. But no, she fell in love with a white man, right? And then. Interracial is cool. In the forties, bitch, <laughs> you trying to get lynched? No, you definitely <laughs> like. And then, but you then, were look, definitely a uh, nigga. And then the white man apparently was all in love with her, and she, and he in the government though. That's a, that's red flag number five. Sounds because, like scandal. He white and he a man. Them two red flags. And then he um living in the forties. He that's the third. One. And then the fourth one, he in a government official. He working politics. Them the ones you can't trust at all. Okay, we'll get into that another time. But why? I, I, okay, I, I read like the first ten pages. I'm lying. I did read more to the back. This bitch wanna act like she black. She not even black for real. She passe. Her mama fell in love with a white man, so her daddy white. Mm-hmm. So that means you have right. You mix. Okay, but look, you one drop, but that's one drop rule was in oh, effect back then. Yeah, so yes, back then she black, but by these standards, like yes, you supposed to have two black parents. We're gonna that, look <laughs> when I tell you they're gonna peel us off the that's network. That's what because uh, we'll have all them FBA niggas on on our goddamn page oh. with them, with them, them fundamentally black Americans, the oh. ones who yeah, them, them they are very KKK ish just for black people in my mind. I'm just gonna say it, anyways. But I don't misunderstand y'all message. I very much understand y'all message. The KKK? No, not <laughs> no, the FBA. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, hey, he wrap it up. No, but then her mama not even black, cause her grandma fell in love with a white man. Oh, so you like three generations of bitch? You, you white? Out. What? What? So that's what made me not get the book, cause like there is no story here. A white woman fell in love with a white man in the Next 40s. week, we're going to talk about <laughs> what does it mean to be black enough in America? <laughs> oh, that's a good topic. We yeah, should talk about we that. are going to talk about we that. We're going to talk about that. I don't think we should. <laughs> I think, because no, I think that we, I'm definitely going to no, challenge a lot of y'all motherfuckers. That's not going to go on the regular. I'm definitely going to challenge need to make a, We need to make a Patreon. Not black enough around this bitch for me. Our ancestors will be very disappointed in this. Let me just end Black History Month with this real quick. Oh, we got to. We got y'all until, are the worst generation. We got until next black, week. We got this episode drop on the last week. No, it's we gonna try to no. <laughs> <laughs> this generation no. is the worst no, no, generation no. of black people to exist. Oh. Y'all are sh- y'all don't have any shame. Yes, we do. And y'all should. Y'all should. Who? Be very shameful. Uh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I've been looking for that motherfucker since I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, it freaked me the fuck out. You know what? I was wondering. I said that. There's a sign up there. Not, I was, I was, and it is I right there. Y'all, it's one of them long, them long, stupid ass mosquitoes that come in the house with you and shit. It's been. I have not gotten a mosquito bite since I was pregnant with my first daughter nine years ago. I don't no, know. What I hate it mosquito is. bites. I hate any type of bite that is. I think it's dumb because itchy. I eat so much ginger and onion. Apparently, they don't like that. No, is it garlic and onion? Apparently, they don't like that. Yeah. So I have not had a mosquito. Not bite me in thinking over about making. I'm finna make a ginger garlic body scrub from dark skin. Uh, Go out the house, man, like a pot rose. <laughs> but you won't add get... a little rosemary to it, right? Period. <laughs> With a splash of red wine, you know, gonna be out here smelling like a. Yeah, y'all motherfuckers not black enough for me. Y'all don't fight. Oh my god, me. we came y'all, away from this. The first, the thank first y'all so much for coming. Y'all running to is that y'all do not know how to unite or organize at all. Thank y'all so much for coming to this place of debate <laughs> bay. My activism. You know, this is why I got re- reported right here. Thank y'all for coming. They said I was... Even though we are... We're literally yelling at you. We do love you. and I don't be yelling at y'all. I just trying to motivate y'all. I'm trying to, like, ignite some activism in this bitch. Because y'all motherfuckers is lazy as shit. Y'all oh, like, my God. We weren't talking about marriage. We called the motherfuckers the worst black people who exist. What the fuck? Listen... 
If you want to get married, get married. If you don't want to get married, don't get married. You don't want kids at the wedding. That is your prerogative. They motherfuckers got time to get a babysitter. You do what you want to do at your wedding. Do not let nobody, granddad or grandma, stop you from pop, pop, popping that pee. Because I'm going to do it. And Indubitably. Indubitably. <laughs> if you don't want, like I said, you don't want to get married, you ain't got to. And baby, women are being pushed to get married because if we don't do it, who will? But I'm still not, I'm not, but I don't like the fact that y'all out here proposing. Let that man choose you. Okay, Chrissy. Yeah, because I don't, I don't like that. And you Are see, they married and, yet? <clears throat> no. She proposed when I was in high school. And, <laughs> yeah. Thank y'all for coming. <laughs> Babe, turn them off. Turn them off, man. Ah, if you propose to a man. Her and, her and, and Mother <laughs> mother Jones is on, they, they, it was, his mama was getting in the way, I feel like it. She was a lot. And that's why you got to be like, look, ma'am, I love you, but girl, leave me the fuck alone because I love your son and I'm finna fuck him tonight. And he liked me. Let me tell you something. I, I'm about to tell my man that tonight. I'm about to tell him like that. Because we, we had a conversation with my mother-in-laws. I don't, look, I, as much as I respect you, ma'am, I'm, I'm about to fuck the shit out of your son. Let me tell you. So you have a good day. 